speeches up really soon. Um, I would like to ask Steve Wilkins to come and speak, please. Um, Steve is the Secretary of the Medway Trades Council, who has put money into our, um, into our campaign. We've got people starting our campaign. I'd like to thank them very much, and also for providing the stewards today. Thanks. Right. Well, I think this is a magnificent turnout and it just shows what is possible when people start to move against the kind of cuts. And the signs of things that Kim has been talking about is something that the Midway Towns is suffering from and so is much of the rest of the country. I mean, I think as far as the council is concerned, I mean, we know that they, they, they belong to a party that believes in cuts, but it takes a rare genius to make a cut that first doesn't save any money and makes things actually worse. I mean, this is the most self... You know, if you ever go to their meetings, and some of you have endured them, I do know that, like us, um, they're the most self-congratulatory, you know, and they've got nothing to be congratulatory about. And the trouble is, is that what we're facing is cuts after cuts after cuts. And we're told by George Osborne this is going on, it's 2020, maybe beyond. And the thing is, we're told that this is necessary because we're in debt. And the only reason we're in debt is because the banks gambled with lots of money and we bailed them out. Their debt became our debt, strangely. And as a consequence, we have to pay for it. As a consequence of, of that, of the banks crash, we lost lots of jobs. And there is another reason for the deficit that they keep saying that we is somehow it's all our fault and we've got to do something about it is because they've been cutting taxes on big business and the super rich for the last 30 years they cut by more than 50 percent so if we want to know where the money is there is it isn't there isn't any money there is money but it's not in our hands and that's the point we want public services we want people to be living how be housed we want people to be able to eat we want people to have a decent a reasonable living standard we want workers to be paid proper wages and um, the way that we're going to do that is by acting together, because there's a little secret. And the secret is that without us, without ordinary people, the people who actually make, physically produce goods and services, the people that run things have got absolutely nothing. Yes. And it's ours, the kind of thing that we're doing is the kind of thing that can make them change their mind. We have the power. People are told that they don't what we do have that power. And there are there's some other things that I think is an absolutely fantastic campaign and enormous congratulations to the people who, who before we, Kim and the others who've been running this campaign. It is very magnificent. There are other things going on. I would like to say that on Monday, probation officers are coming out on strike at 12 noon to defend the probation service that the government crazily and incredibly dangerously wants to hand over to private companies like G4S, you know, as we all know, done so terribly well. They're coming out at, at 12 noon, uh, the office on New Road next to the uh, post office, delivery office. If people can, uh, are around at the time, come along and say hello, tell them that you support them, that it will make an enormous difference. And then next Saturday, is the anniversary of the introduction of the hated bedroom tax. And Midway Against the Cuts, which is our anti-cuts group, are going to hold a little protest in the High Street. There have been some leaflets handed out. A big protest. It will be a big protest. <laughs> and we will be going to Lairi at the uh, ATOS Assessment Centre in memory of all the people who died as a result of their benefits being taken away and we will then move on to the uh, job centre where we will be uh, posting up uh, an eviction notice for Ian Duncan Smith. <laughs>